Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to complete the square with um, when the lead coefficient is not 1. So I've given you 1 here, 6x squared minus 84x plus 292 um, is equal to y or is equal to f of x. Um, the first thing you might see is that you could factor a 2 out of everything, and that might get us somewhere, but here it's not really... Uh, going to do that. We need, remember, to get this in the form of x minus h squared plus k. That's what we're looking for. So I need to force these two pieces here into a perfect, into, um, plus a third, into a, a trinomial that, it res that is the result of a binomial squared. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do first is pull out that 6 and out of the first two terms. And as before, when we had a 1 as our lead coefficient, I'm going to move this last, the constant term, I'm going to move it out of the way over here. All right, so let's see the next step. All right, so I pulled out a 6 out of the first term and the second term. <laughs> And here I'm left with x squared, right? Distributive property. 84 divided by 6. Well, 72 divided by 6 is 12. And 84 is uh, two more 6s after that, right? 72 plus 12, so that's 14. Got a negative, so I pulled out a 6. I'm left with a negative 14x here. And then, completing the square, I've moved my 292 over here out of the way. Completing the square says I take half the middle term, which would be negative 7, and I square that, which is positive 49. Here I'm just going to leave it as positive 7 squared. Same thing. And then here I've got my 292 that I moved out of the way. And what's this? Well, there's the 49. I recognize that. But it's not just 49 that I added to the equation over here. It's 6 times 49. So I have to subtract 6 times 49 here. That's the, mo that's the main um, thing to remember when you're dealing with a lead coefficient that's not 1. Okay, is how does, when I factor that, that number out, I have to remember to distribute it back in here when I'm counteracting the piece that I added to the equation to make it complete the square. Okay, so where does that get us next? By design, that binomial is x minus 7 quantity squared, right? By design, x squared minus 14x plus 49 is the same as x minus 7 quantity squared. Got my 6 out here that I factored out to start with. And then plus 292 minus 6 times 49. Well, 6 times 50 would be 300, right? 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 50 is 300, but I have 6 times 49, so it's 300 minus 6. Is 294. So I got two plus 292 minus 294 leaves me with a minus 2. And lo and behold, I know now that that's in vertex form. I've got a vertex at 7, comma, negative 2. And a, this, this factor out here, is 6, which means that my parabola is going up. It's a positive number. And it's going to be a narrower parabola than my standard y equals x squared parabola. I hope that helps.